King's School in Alston. Our school is the smallest secondary school in England and Alston is the highest market town in England. We live in a geopark in the North Pennines, an area of outstanding natural beauty. There are some very special rocks, fossils and minerals found here. One mineral is even named after Alston. Our hills are made of layer upon layer of incredibly old rock. These old rocks can tell us a lot about the history of the landscape. 350 to 300 million years ago in the Carboniferous period, the North Pennines were sometimes covered by shallow tropical seas. These seas were full of sea creatures and when they died the skeletons built up a limey ooze on the sea floor. Over time this hardened and became limestone. Rivers washed mud and sand into the sea, creating layers which over time hardened, creating mudstone and sandstone. The building up of the layers created deltas, like the Mississippi River, where swampy forests began to grow. The forest eventually became thin, coal seams. The forest was sometimes flooded by tropical seas and the whole process started again. These sedimentary rocks, limestone, sandstone and mudstone, are laid down like layers of a cake. These sequences are repeated and are known as cyclothems. But underneath these layers, hundreds of metres below the ground, lies a hidden rock which has a fundamental influence on our landscape, the Rio de la Granite. Much older than the Carboniferous rocks, Rio de la Granite rose from the depths of the earth as a huge mass of molten rock around 400 million years ago. This molten rock cooled and crystallised underground. After millions of years, the granite was exposed at the earth's surface and the sedimentary rock began to form on top. The granite is buoyant, like a cork in water and has kept the North Pennines higher than the surrounding areas for millions of years. Mineral rich waters were heated by the granite and flowed through cracks in the sedimentary rocks. As they cooled, their dissolved minerals crystallised in the cracks forming veins full of minerals such as lead ore. It's hard to believe it now, but this area was once one of the largest producers of lead in the world, thanks to the effects of the buried Weardale granite millions of years ago. These mineral riches in the ground are the reason why our ancestors came to live and work here and why we are still here today. After the mining boom in the North Pennines, the mining families stayed in Alston. They had come to appreciate the beauty of the area. They developed Alston to make it the thriving town it is today. Oh, that's you! We're on live! <laughs> Take Make one! Carry on. Look at the camera! Hang on. Sorry. Everyone looks miserable though. We all have this Take 29. <laughs> Go. Where from Samuel King School in 
Charleston. Charleston.